Time now for Tuesday Basketball, and it's presented by ESPN on EA Sports. I'm your host, Jalen Rose. The Boston Celtics are set for this highly anticipated matchup against the Atlanta Hawks. We send it now to Mike Green and JVG for the call. Welcome to Phillips Arena in Atlanta, Georgia, as we get set for LeBron James and the Atlanta Hawks taking on Pete Maravich and the Boston Celtics. Hello, everyone. Along with Jeff Van Gundy, I'm Mike Green, ready for a terrific game today. What's going on, you guys? As I promised, I'm bringing you guys another video. Look at Westbrook splitting up the double team and the nice slam. But yeah, it's 5 in the morning as I'm making this video. I started it at like yesterday and I continue at 3 a.m. 4 a.m. now it's 5 a.m. grinding out here <laughs> but anyways let's get into the gameplay real quick look at Larry Bird pulling up for three if you guys didn't notice yet my opponent has an all-white team which I didn't realize till like after the first quarter so I'm like wow he actually has an all-white team that's pretty cool but what's not cool is his playstyle you guys will see throughout the video that his playstyle is really annoying to play against which forces me to make tons of matchup switches lineup changes and as you guys can see I only scored eight points in the first three minutes of the game because I didn't know how to score on this guy's team because he had Marcus Gasol rated 98 so he's a beast and then he has Havlicek who's a good defender and then obviously Larry Bird so he has a good defensive team an offensive team as you guys can see Larry Bird just pulls up for three in front of anyone and it goes in so I don't know how many triples he scored in the first. Our team played some bad defense in the first quarter. Or I think he was just getting some... Look at these shots, man. <laughs> Fresh off an inbound. Kawhi Leonard with 97 defense. Doesn't even guard Larry Bird. And he gets a wide open three. So now we're down by eight. But Steph Curry is going to change that with a three-point shot. So now it's a three-point game heading into the second quarter. I'm going to try to get a move on Havlicek. I do. And I get a spin move mid-range shot. Wow, did I really say Havlicek? Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so Havlicek, sorry. Look at Carmelo from the pick and pop. But he misses. Melo usually drains those easily. And now look at this layup this guy makes. A one-handed, I don't know how to call that, acrobatic layup. So in this qu second quarter, I basically thought EA wanted me to lose this basketball game. Look at this, nobody is guarding Bird again. How? He has 17 points in the second quarter. We're down by 8. Look at this, he just half court passes the ball. LeBron is not guarding the shooter. I don't even know who that is anymore because his whole team is white. All I know is that it's a white guy shooting a 3. And Westbrook misses a layup. LeBron misses the rebound. And look what happens next. He goes for a layup. He misses. He gets the board. He gets another wide open 3. He gets the board again. Oh my gosh, this is going crazy. EA wants me to lose this basketball game. Watch this, LeBron with a 95 pass rating. Easy pass to Westbrook with no defense and it goes out of bounds. My goodness, I didn't know what was going on at this point. And of course, he's going to get a wide open 3 off an inbound. And now we're down by 14 points. And at this point, I called a timeout to adjust my lineup, my defense. And I put LeBron James at center because I think he had Larry Bird or Dirk at center. So it was so annoying. Um, his whole team was shooting. My team couldn't rotate. So I put LeBron at center to have quicker rotations on defense. And to be faster on offense so he could push the basketball. And take advantage of his defenders. Like right here LeBron is going in and dunks on him. So now we're only down by 11 instead of 17. Westbrook goes in. It's a good way to start the second half. So now someone actually plays defense on Larry Bird. We get the steal. LeBron is going coast to coast with the slam. Nobody could stop him on the open floor. Yo, this game was crazy. Every time he goes for a three, like right here, look, nobody's guarding Bird again. I don't know why. So this game, I was like, ah, every time, <laughs> every time that happened. LeBron is wide open from mid off the nice pass. 
I think this is something Live 16 has to fix. Look at that, how easy it is to pass from half court. And Larry Bird just drains a three on Andrew Wiggins' face. I even jumped before Bird took the shot. It was a contested three. I had no idea what was going on with Larry Bird. But LeBron gets the three right back. We're only down by eight points. He calls a timeout because he knows I'm attempting a run because I've been down by double digits most of the game. Now I'm guarding the defense. I'm using my defense manually because I don't trust the computer. They're so dumb. And Westbrook with a nice D and pull up three. So now I'm controlling my own players. And now we're only down by six points. I know we can get the lead down to three. So here it is. Bang! There's a three-point shot. We're on a run. 9-1 run. As you guys can see at the bottom of your screen. He does this full court cheese again. I'm there with my defense. Let's go LeBron. Pull up. Ah, we're only down by one. Let's go. Come on. Can't beat this cheese at EA. At the same time, LeBron goes in, takes the lead. First time in the game. So now he's going to go for another three-point shot. I scouted him well. Kevin Love passing it to Bird. I'm there. Look at that defense. We're stuck on him like glue. I'm bringing the help with Westbrook. Give me that steal, boy. Wiggins, let's go. Fast break cam. I love it. Now he needs another timeout. Yo, this was crazy. When I made this run, I was so hyped up. That's right. Tell those boys to step their game up. We're stopping his cheese. So right now, as you guys can see, I have a mismatch. Mark Gasol and Westbrook. I'm taking advantage. Westbrook! Ah! And one. Man, oh man, this game was something else. Let's call for a screen and roll with LeBron James. Pick and pop. I'm going in. I told you guys last video, when I'm pulling up from two feet, it's so annoying. I'm trying to go for the dunk, but they pull up. And he gets a nice putback with Mark Gasol. I told you guys, Mark Gasol rated 98 overall. That's the version he has. It was so annoying. It was like a big tower in the paint every time I try to drive. But look at this nice dribble drive to Kawhi Leonard to end the third quarter. So now he's going to try to cut into our five point lead. He's going to call for a screen. He's actually going to get a legit three point shot now. Not those full court three point shot cheese where my defense doesn't know what the heck is going on. I could do the same thing with Shaq. I have a center as well. So now we're back up by five. Carmelo misses an easy layup. I can't believe that. So now I'm going to try to call for another screen. Make his defense move. Wait for Shaq to roll. There it is. Perfect timing with the pass. And now we're up by seven. He needs another timeout. So as you guys can see, the pick and roll is dangerous. Shaq, when he's rolling, is unstoppable. He brings the double. Look who's open. LeBron James. Let's go. That's exactly what I did when I scored with LeBron. LeBron is a problem in the fourth quarter. I'm taking over this basketball game. He gets a steal off the inbound pass. Larry Bird goes in for the slam. He's only down by three. But now he decides, look at this. He decides to foul me with one minute and 20 seconds left. I'm not too sure why. But anyways, guys, this guy was annoying to play against. And look at LeBron getting stripped like he was Kwame Brown at point guard. That's annoying. That's something they gotta fix on Live 16 as well. The steal is too easy. It's overpowered. And we get back-to-back -back charges. Good defense. Look at LeBron playing D, scoring on offense, doing it all. And this is the most beautiful play by LeBron James. Spin move on Marc Gasol. Pull up three. Woo! Wow, what a game. As you guys saw early in the video, I had many obstacles in this game. I was losing the rebounds, my passes weren't going in, he was making some ridiculous threes. But I didn't give up, I knew with my skill I could beat this guy, because all he was doing was cheesing at the three point line, so I adjusted my defense accordingly, played manual defense myself, I don't trust the computers. This is the first time I thought it would be impossible to win a basketball game, and that's saying a lot because I played so many games this year on 2K and live, and this is the first time that I've had this many things thrown at me. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please show some love and if you guys missed my Paul George video, 70 points and other videos, check out my channel. I uploaded two yesterday. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe. 
and also follow G Flash on Twitter.